Hi, this is Andy Olson from Glow Lighting. It's another episode of Lightcraft, and today we're talking about creating a wireless DMX network. I like to think of it as front end, back end, and signal flow. So the front end would be your iPad and your Wi Fi network through a DMX node, and then out to a transmitter. And we're possibly transmitting in either wireless DMX or CRMX from Lumen Radio. So we've got to follow that signal path all the way through to make sure your iPad is controlling your lights. Let's take a look. Okay, when we first look at our iPad and we go to settings, we want to make sure that our Wi-Fi is connected to the proper Wi-Fi network. And if I go up here and I look, I see that auto join is checked in. And then if I go to my other network, my internet-based network, I can see I'm auto join is turned off. And now if you scroll down to the program that you're going to be using to control your lighting, you want to make sure that you've allowed access to the local network for that app. Now what I do is I think of signal flow. And so we have a front end, we have a back end. The front end would obviously be an iPad and you're connected with Wi-Fi to your wireless router. But then the DMX has to go through some math through a DMX node. And then out of the node then we go into a transmitter and that transmitter might be a city theatrical wireless DMX or it might be a Lumen Radio CRMX or it could be a hardwire cable. So we want to make sure our signal flow is going from end to end properly. So let's take a look at how to do that. This is my older wireless DMX system. And I just want to show you the signal flow and then I'll show you where things have gone in the last couple of years to make this system much smaller. But this fits in a Pelican case and it starts out, of course, with a Wi-Fi network, which is an airport extreme, with the name of the network and my password written on it. And then the signal comes out of the LAN port and into an NTEC Open DMX Ethernet box. And this box then creates the DMX signal. This is DMX out. And so my DMX, 5-pin DMX cable comes out. It comes into this show baby, which is a wireless DMX transmitter. And then it loops out of this and it goes to this D split. It comes in and it splits it out four ways. I take one of those cables and I put it into a Centena transmitter. And this creates CRMX, or also known as Lumen Radio. So I'm running two different systems. I'm running the City Theatrical Show Baby wireless DMX system, and I'm running side by side with that a Lumen Radio or CRMX system transmitter. So let's talk briefly on the DMX node. Traditionally, the DMX node was a separate piece from your Wi Fi network. It fit in the signal path, and then it created the DMX signal coming out. Now systems are different in that they have the Wi-Fi and the DMX node integrated into one box. The AKS Plus is like that. The Lumen Radio stuff is like that, like the Aurora is like that, the Stardust. And so I would encourage you, if you are building a system now, to make sure that your Wi-Fi and your DMX node are integrated as one. Okay, here is the AKS Plus wireless DMX system. This has built-in Wi-Fi that your iPad connects to. And then it also creates a CRMX signal, a Lumen Radio signal that transmits your wireless DMX with these antennas. And then also you can see I have a port that then drops to a hardwired five pin. So I can hardwire light if I want to via DMX. And then also this charges up. So I can walk around the set with this. And it is a single universe. But this is really the industry standard for most gaffers and, and location shoots. So we know now on settings under Wi-Fi, I'm connected to Glow Lighting AKS. And now if we go to an app, either Luminaire or Blackout, we should be able to see that the app is seeing that node. So let's go to Connections on Luminaire. And then we're going to touch on Artnet because I know that's my protocol and then we're going to touch on the node and sure enough it is available. Okay so we've checked Luminaire but now we can go in and check out Blackout Next 
and see the screen where it says link status is green. If I touch on that, you can see Artnet is up. I'm in directed broadcast. And down here you'll see an indicator Wi-Fi is green. And now if I just turn a couple of lights on here in my shop, go to intensity, I can bring those lights up. So I know that I'm connected here. So we started this video talking about creating a wireless DMX network. And we've done the work up front. The Wi-Fi work up front, connected to the router, to the DMX encoder. That DMX encoder is then seen by the software, either through ArtNet or SACN. But it's wireless end-to-end. -end. So now at the back end, where your lights actually connect to the system, is through either wireless DMX from City Theatrical, or it is a Lumen Radio product called CRMX that is really the industry standard for how everything is connecting. So we're going to take a look at that on the back of a Kino Flow and see how that linking takes place. Your wireless DMX system has at least two technologies, two wireless technologies. One of them, of course, is your iPad up front where you have Wi-Fi connected to your network, and then your DMX signals generated. And we put that DMX signal now into a transmitter of some kind. Well, it could be one of two technologies. It could be City Theatrical's wireless DMX, or it could be Lumen Radio's CRMX, which is a linking technology. And so KinoFlow comes standard with the CRMX linking technology. It has a receiver built into it. And since we know we are sending, we're transmitting with our Centena to this KinoFlow, let's walk through the linking process to make sure this light is actually connected to your wireless DMX system. This KinoFlow is currently set to manual mode. But if I push menu and then come down to DMX wireless, I can toggle wireless on. And it still says that I'm unlinked. And so this is the reference to CRMX, whether it's linked or not. But on my transmitter, I can push the linking button. And now you can see that it's trying to link. And now we have signal. And so now you can see on the right hand side you have full bars. That is the signal strength of wireless DMX. Now you can start using your iPad to control your lighting.